This week on the Spotlight, we flash back to when Tim Raines was coaching for the White Sox. More highlights from the 2018 Benkowski Trivia title match from the Sox. And some great Blackhawk flashbacks. They don't come any greater than Dennis Savard. And the Sarge from the Cubs. You know him. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, it's the 29th year of the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. They have tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and more, 108th in Kedzie. Lansing Floral Shop, open 8 a.m. daily. Custom silk flowers, Bridgewater candles, great flowers, 708 474 1212. A great floral shop, Lansing Floral. Get to Renata's Beauty Salon, men, women, and kids. Open six days a week, 12558 Southwestern Avenue in beautiful Blue Island. With a 30 year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting, most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL, Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get to the Wise Owl at Van Buren and Racine. Pizzas, pork sliders, Cuban sandwiches, carrot soup, elote, burgers, tacos, salads, and more. Great cocktails and great bartenders. A tremendous array at the Wise Owl, Van Buren and Racine. See you there. You've got to get to Gihulis for Trivia Night. Benkowski Trivia, 3901 West 103rd Street, right near St. Xavier. Friday, February 1st at 8 p.m. They have great food, great drinks. And my trivia includes music, movies, TV, sports. If you have a special request, bring it in. I'll have it in two weeks. Sometimes they do a little geography, but not too crazy with it. Gil Hooley's, February 1st. See you there. And now another installment of our 2018 Trivia Championship match from the SOC. More questions. Continue with 83. Two off the lead right now. 83. Miss America, 1955. Worked with Buddy Epson on TV. And in a made-for-TV movie, played Catwoman. Who was she? Lee Meredith. Lee Meredith is not it. Part of that's right. We go to roadies. Miss America, 1955, worked with Buddy Epson on TV and played Catwoman in a movie. Five seconds. Say it, say it, say it. Going. Julie Newmar. Julie Newmar. Well, when... No, that's not it. We go to Double O Night Out. Lee Merriweather. Lee Merriweather, yes. 120. You go to 690. <laughs> Pinball Quizards are up. Pinball Quizards. No, they said Lee, Lee something. So they were incorrect, and the team they said was correct is correct. So, so uh, ready, Quizards? Yes, sir. Back to Miss Universe, 2018. There were two Southeast Asian countries still alive toward the end. I mean, in the final 20. Name one. Vietnam. Vietnam is correct. Thailand, the other. 140. 
So 1100. <laughs> Came to bed kind of fatigued that night, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, okay. JMB is up. JMB. Miss America 1959. Three word answer. Was in movies with Elvis. She was a regular on the match game for a while. She was all over TV. She was kind of a girl next door. Five seconds. Mary Ann Mobley. Mary Ann Mobley. Ah, it's a good thing you didn't make a mistake. <laughs> they would have castrated you right on the spot. 160. Holy cow. 810. Wow, that was intense. To the point of discomfort. Karen's killers are up. Karen's killers. <laughs> Back to the Miss Universe. Of those 20 countries, I'm looking for any of the three that were from non Southeast Asia, other parts of Asia. Just name one. India is correct. The other ones were Nepal, and thank God you didn't say the C word. 180. So who just got that? Who just got that? JMB just got that? Roadies. You're not the roadies. You're the killers. You know, teams... What's the other <laughs> It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, Baha Men. Baha Men. This Miss America 1971. Joined the NFL Today broadcast team in 1974. She appeared pretty regularly on the $10,000 pyramid. And... She opened a product line of frozen foods. Name her. Baja, 200 points. Great time to throw. Throw. You didn't have to say Phyllis George. Food by George. 200. That lifts Baja to 780. These are the halftime scores. You got Pinball at 1100. You got JMB 810. You got Karen's Killers 800. You got Baja 780. You got 83 740. You got Double O Night Out 690. And the roadies will start the third quarter. We'll take a very short break. And then we'll get back to action because we're playing good, but now we got to really attack that second half. All right, go do go do what you got. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Displains Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional, and she will help you. Give her a call. Family Dentist, Lawrence Furland, DDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile. They do a great job. Call 773-233-7044. Excellent work. Impeccable. Call the Family Dentist, 
833-733-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. Last, but far from least, in our mid-season look at the Hawks, we go to a couple of highly entertaining, energetic French Canadians. One a true Chicago veteran star, the other a comparative newcomer. First, our friend Al Chevrier, the goalie who's back on track after a less-than-great start in the fall of 1989. This is a really good way to go into 1990. You guys uh, have a lot of home momentum, especially. Yeah, you're right. It is a good way. And it's a good way to finish off the first half of the season. Tonight was our 40th game. We, I think we're in third place overall, 45 points. And, uh, you know, I think we can pick it up a little more and reach that 100-point plateau. That's our goal. You know, last year, everyone's talking about the contrast in seasons. The regular season was rugged. You kind of made your name for yourselves in the playoffs, especially you uh, being the late-season acquisition. What does it feel like to, to play well during the regular season? Well, I mean, it, it's it's very satisfying because you you um, you're playing well for your teammates, for the coaching staff, for everyone, and, and it's really it's gratifying to know that you can do that for a whole year. And you know, and the guy, the, you know, I haven't played that well, and uh, you know, I'm starting to now, and I'm looking forward to a great second half. What about the team uh, sucking it up and getting uh, through the tough period where you're missing a lot of people? Uh, that's certainly going to be the case for a couple weeks. You're right. We're missing a lot of key people in our lineup. You know, Doug Wilson, Dave Manson, uh, Steve Thomas, like Jacques Loutier. I mean, a lot of guys are out. I probably missed a couple, but everyone else has to pick it up a little bit. And, and you know, they would do the same. They would be doing the same if someone, if they were playing and someone else was injured. So, you know, they expect it from us, and we expect it from them. There would be one thing you could pick out that went right in the first half of the regular season that didn't uh, at, w right after you came to the club if you remember some down times, uh, what, what would be the difference in the two regular seasons you've experienced? Well, I think this year we have more depth, and I think that shows now because of the injuries that we have. We called up uh, Everett Sanipas, we called up Dan Vince last week, and Cam Russell, Mike Peluso, we still have Bobby Basson down there, and I mean, it's we have a lot more depth, and I think we have a, more, a better, deeper club than we, you know, than they had last year. I think it was seven years ago that you, Larmer, and uh, Al combined for almost 300 points. Uh, how much of that did you feel this evening? Well, they remind me from from uh, from that time. Uh, you know, it, it felt good. Uh, you know, the main thing we were, we're focusing on tonight was when the hockey the game for the hockey team, and uh, you know, it was good that uh, you know we got a lot of goals for for the team. And uh, you know, as I said before, it was it was a good feeling playing with Al and, and Steve again. And you know, if we keep continue the way we're we played tonight, uh, we'll play maybe the rest of the year together. So let's hope that we keep going. The but, volume, yes. But we'll make it, and you never know. <laughs> <laughs> he told us that too. Uh, the volume of the stadium got kind of a fever pitch at the point of your hat trick. Can you recall it being that loud in a while? No, I tell you, it felt good. And, uh, you know, I I appreciate that very much because, you know, yeah, it's been it's been a year where people are expecting probably more out of me, but I've been, you know, adjusting to the style of the team and the playing probably a little different. And, uh, you know, playing the Mike Keenan style, which is getting the puck and chase it. And, you know, I'm going to get my goals, but, you know, um, I'm going to have to play good defense. And it's, it's a hard, it's a harder way to play this way, but, you know, it's paying, it's paying off and the team is winning. Yeah, those little things like freezing the puck, uh, getting the face off, we, we saw you doing that tonight. Uh, you know, taking the body when I can and, like it is, you know, sorry. just, you know, whatever. Just happy to be here. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the story from the Blackhawks locker room. They start 1990 in grand fashion. One of the premier teams in the NHL in the regular season. Quite a turnaround with flashbacks to the Orville Tessier regime. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. 
you know Huck Finn is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Austin, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous rate of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You've got to get to the sock live Minkowski trivia alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great game, great people. Check out the sock. I think you'll be glad you did when you go to my trivia game every other Thursday. 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Perfect pitch auto repair at 108th and Kedzie. Thus tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Papa Joe's new location, 5900 West 111th Street. Italian beef, tetrazzini, great pizza, parmesan, ravioli, and more. All my classic choices. New location, and they can still deliver into the city. Get the Papa Joe's. We're back on the spotlight. We're talking some Cubs baseball and maybe National League baseball from days gone by with Coach Chris Spire. And uh, just wanted to talk to you a little bit. I was looking over your bio a little bit today. And, uh, you know, somebody who's played that many years and coached that many years, you have a, an interesting perspective on, on where teams can go. And have you ever been involved with a team that had a slow start and then put on the afterburners in June and July and became a contender? Well, I think um, I'm looking back at... Uh, couple of the teams that I was with in up in Montreal um, you know during those uh, early 80s we were kind of the team on paper that everybody picked and um, a couple of times we had uh, gotten out to to those slow starts and um, but um, you know and we never really got over the hump you know we got to uh, to the playoffs and um, but we never you know made that big big push and uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of time left in this season, a lot of time left. And, uh, you know, I see, you know, and the talent and I see a lot of things happening. And, uh, you know, one thing, we just need to stay healthy and get healthy. And uh, then we'll see what, what happens. Well, I know with Todd Walker back, you know, that's certainly a, a boost. And, you know, a guy who you relied on early in the year. And, you know, maybe when a, another pitcher or two comes back, uh, you guys will be that much closer to 100 percent well that's the big thing you know our, our pitching has always been and i think you take a look at any you know any divisional playoff contending team it's you know you look at their pitching uh the one thing is that uh, we're going to pitch well what we need to do is we need to start offensively stepping it up and uh you know it's got to be a collective thing it just can't be you know one or two guys and because you're going to go through those streaks where where certain players get hot and they can carry a club like a, you know, a D. Lee or a Ramirez or or Burnett's. But we, you know, you just can't count on those guys day in and day out. The other guys have to contribute. As a middle infielder and a guy who wasn't cranking 40 home runs, but yeah. still, you know, played a lot of games and played at a high level. Um, I wonder, do you, do you ever get a chance to talk to some of these guys about? you know, maybe cutting back on the swing and, and looking to advance a runner and some of those little nuances that help you manufacture runs. Well, I think that's, a, you know, that's a thing that uh, individually, you know, I think everybody and, and almost collectively as a team is, is we need to look at, you know, how are we going to be able to produce more runs? And, uh, and it's like those little things. It's a man on second, no outs, and then, you know, you're hitting the ball to the right side, getting him over. You might drive him in over that way, but, uh, you know, the worst case scenario is you get him on third and let the next guy do it. And, uh, you know, we, we, haven't played, we haven't played that kind of ball yet. And uh, I know it's not because the guys aren't thinking about it. It's just that, uh, you know, those, some of those things just haven't happened for us. But it's a, it's a thought process. It's a day in and day out. Uh, making adjustments, uh, you know, with with the pitching that, that you're facing, and um, it, those are things that that are ongoing. That you're changing, you know, you're changing and you're making adjustments because that pitcher's making adjustments to you. So it's uh, 
you know, a little bit of a shell game sometimes. Yeah. Well, the ironic thing is, as June hits, the wind will probably shift. You'll start knocking some homers, and then everything will fall into place, <laughs> and you will be, you know, doing the double steals and whatnot, right? Well, I don't know about the double steals now, <laughs> you know. I like I liked the part about the home runs, but, you know, those that goes both ways. But I'll take our pitching staff out there. Um, you know, I, we're just, we just need to step it up a little bit offensively. Um, you know, when you get when you, you know get your starter pitcher out there and he's you know giving up two and three runs and t and taking a loss, that's uh, that's not good. Going back a little bit to those Expos days, I mean, I think of a really superb lineup: a starting pitcher like Steve Rogers. Um, I, I think you had an outfield of uh, Cromartie, Valentine, and Dawson, which mm -hmm. was for a while, you know, the best in the league. Um, that that must have been a fun group to be with. Oh, it really was. You know, we saw those guys as they, you know, they came up as kids. You know, and uh, it was a lot of fun because, you know, we had some, we had a good, good balance of some veterans there. You know, you talk about the pitching staff, and you know, one guy that probably goes unmentioned but had a tremendous impact, I think, on a lot of the young pitchers was Woody Fryman, the old salty left-hander that yeah. uh, you know used to move his chips around in his elbow so he could throw the next pitch but uh, he had tremendous influence on those guys and another guy that uh, was there when I came over was Dave Cash and Tony Perez two of those guys they uh, you know they taught these guys a little bit about how to play and uh, boy it was fun watching them develop you've got to get to the corner bar for my live trivia game every other Tuesday at 7 p.m. music movies TV sports and a lot more it's at Joe R. Road in Torrance a fun place with great food, drink, and people. Lenny Q's Barbecue. Trivia, alternate Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Daily specials. Catering, too. It's at the Lansing Municipal Airport, 3249 Airport Drive. I'll see you over there. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at Watt 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair, 108th and Kedzie. Trivia will be at the Sock. Alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road, great food, great drink, great people. Everything great. You've got to get to Renata's Beauty Salon. They cut hair for men, women, and kids, and I'm among them. Open six days a week. Walk-ins welcome. Easy to reach at 125th and Western Avenue. Maybe I'll see you there. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. I know the pitching coach and the hitting coach, they go over videotape with guys. Uh, do you ever uh, look at tape or, or talk about the pitcher and, and clues or tips that they're giving that indicate you know when, when you can go and when you can't go? Well, I do look at video on uh, mostly lefties, uh, not so much right-handed pitchers. You know, right-handed pitchers are pretty much, uh, you know, the norm. Everybody do pretty much the same things. There are some that are more quicker with their feet than others, but uh, we have scouting reports on all of the pitchers that we face, and, and there, are, there are scouts that are seeing these guys before we get a chance to see them, especially for myself, because there's a lot of pitchers I haven't seen in a long time. There's a lot of new pitchers. And, uh, in the league that I haven't seen and I haven't been in the league in, in a while so um, the scouting reports are, have been great for us and uh, we have scouting reports on each and every pitcher that goes out on the mound but once uh, you know we know the times uh, when they're from the pitching mound to home plate we have those times before the game starts and and it's just a matter of, uh, of seeing them you know maybe once or twice to to try to pick up what we can uh, ourselves and uh, try to take it from there. What was the lure for you to come back here? I mean, you you could be sitting on a beach somewhere if you want to be. What? Why did you want to come back and go through the six-month grind? I uh, missed it. I, I really missed it. It's, it's been a part of my life since I was, you know, 19 years old. Actually, 18. Uh, actually, 17. I was drafted uh, before I turned 18, and I've been a part of baseball since then. And, and uh, I took uh, a year uh, off. 
and uh, managed last year and I felt like I wanted to get back into the game because there was just a void that I think that I was missing from from being around the game so much and I enjoy it you know I still love the game I still still love being around it and uh, it's just great to come back and, and be a part of a team that's uh, that's got a chance to do uh, a lot of great things well, to wrap up, at the extremely young age of 45, you, is this a particular job you want to do for another 10 years, or, or do you see yourself doing a, a different task down the road in an organization? Well, actually, I haven't really thought about it that much. You know, this is my first year at the big league coach, and, and uh, I'm going to enjoy this year and, and see what happens. You know, I, um, it's, it's first time really being a, at, at first base. Actually, last year I managed and I, and I coached third base, so I called my own short shots at that time. but. You know, I'm, I'm learning uh, about being a coach and, and, you know, who knows, as, as the years go on, I, I might want to do something else. Well, I'm sure you, Harold, and Joey get together. You got some ideas for Ozzy now and then, right? Almost definitely. You know, we, uh, you know, this staff, you know, has a lot of years um, under their belt. And there's a lot of baseball that we've played and a lot of baseball that we've seen. And, and uh, you know, as... As as, ga as games are played and uh, as, as the year goes on, I mean, there's going to be something that comes up that I'm sure that I've seen uh, before and they have it and, and the same for them. So, you know, we, we talk about the game as well and, and uh, we'll, we'll try to come up with the things that is best suited for this team uh, to make this team better. Well, short of a few more base hits, which naturally seems to be on its way, I, I just say don't, don't, don't rock the boat because it's going pretty good, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, anybody come to mind that's that's jumped in and, and filled a role that that really impressed you? Maybe like uh, surprisingly good in, in in filling in. Well, I think Warts has done a, a great job. I think Oldman has come up a little from the left side and done uh, as equally uh, a good job. Uh, again, when you're going through different things, we'll have some pitchers that are pitching very well at times, like uh, Todd well, uh, Wellmeyer, and a lot of times people will say, "Well, God, uh, why can't he pitch better?" Well. It has to be game situation as well. He hasn't been in as much probably as he he would like. But when you're uh, going to the game, regardless of whether or not you've been in there three games, four games, or five, you're expected to do the job. And uh, again, it hasn't been one particular person. It's been collectively as a group. You know, I'll say the days that the, the guys are a lot better athletes. They come in their shape, swing training, and a lot better uh, shape. Um, the thing is, for them, I think it's more hitting, hitting, as opposed to the all-around game, in which I mean the, the defense and also the, the base running, really more importantly, because uh, by going first to third, especially with one out, uh, that hitter that's coming up feels a lot better as opposed to runners on first and second. And I think if we can do that a little bit more and give ourselves a little bit more opportunity. You've got to get to Moods Bar and Grill. Exit 19 off Interstate 94. Portage, Indiana. I do live trivia there every other Wednesday. They have great food and drink. A very fun vibe. Located in the Portage Mall in the middle of town. You gotta check out Moods. Take a little road trip to the Bar and Grill. It's only 19 minutes into Indiana. Live trivia. I'll see you there. This week's show has been brought to you by the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Shop. They do it all at 108th and Kedzie. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. In print graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound, saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing. Call 708-396-1010.